Hi everyone! So today I thought I would go uh, back to GAC 100, uh, try and compare and um, see the difference between the GAC 800 and the other mediums that I've used uh, after using the other medium so I can really really compare and yeah I'm just going to go for a flip cup and uh, with fluorescent colors what I plan on doing as well is uh, maybe plug the black light at the end of the video so we can see the wet paint under the black light again uh, like last video Except last video I did the reverse, <laughs> painted under the black light and then turned on the daylight to see the painting. Uh, it's interesting to do and I think it's an, an interesting option uh, for when it's too hot to paint because uh, one little black light is a lot less hot than two big huge daylights. <laughs> And uh, I really liked it, and I really liked the results uh, as well. So, today I thought I would go with uh, about the same colors, uh, less paint, because last time I had too much. And try again the Vallejo Zinc White with GEC 800, because I don't have any more Vallejo, Vallejo Medium. And, um, yeah. Let's give this a try, see how it goes, and have fun. So let me zoom you in, and let's get started with it. All right, so <clears throat> same as last time, I'm going to go this thing quite under. Well, under, but it will get on top as I flip. The zinc quite I mixed. Uh, 40% paint to 60% medium, no water, just paint. And then there's a fluorescent red. Fluorescent red is a soft body acrylic. I mixed it one part paint to 10 part medium with a tiny bit of water. Same with the Quinacridone Crimson, which is a fluid acrylic. And same with the fluorescent orange so the colors are all one part paint to ten part medium with about five percent water and uh, let's flip it the reason why i put the zinc white in the bottom and i want it to end up on top after the flip is because the zinc white has a very heavy pigment density and it should sink into the colors causing them to sell up because the colors have a lighter pigment density. We'll see because last time it's not at all what happened. So I'll give you a time lapse while I cover my sides and oh, this moved here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm not at all um, in frame by the looks of it. Here we go, better. Give you a time lapse and cover my sides. Oh, 
Alright. So it's still selling up. Still changing. But it's just very, very, very slow. And it seems that I do have some white cells. But, 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 it do seems like the white cells have a fluorescent color under. So maybe that's the fluorescent color under the white paint that's pushing it up. Or the other option would be that the Vallejo paints are using uh, less pigment or the other option would be that the Vallejo paints have uh, a uh, acrylic binder with a lower density than the other paints. It would be possible that the Vallejo are less pigmented than the golden, because golden acrylics uh, really have a heavy pigmentation, very very bright colors. Uh, I would have to test out with another color than zinc white to know. Zinc white is uh, hard to know if the color is bright because it's white and it's a transparent pigment so but yeah um happy with the painting love the composition i love uh, the kind of uh, red mountain at the bottom here i think it's going to be the side the painting is going to be displayed on uh i'll let it dry before i decide that's what i do uh, I feel like the, the side you hang the painting should be your choice, the choice of the artist. Um, you get to pick the colors, you get to pick the canvas, the size of painting you want to do. You get to uh, pick the technique you want to use, you get to pick uh, whatever you want to do really. So I think the artist should get to pick the side the painting gets to hang on. So... Uh... How about we turn on the black light and see what it looks like under the black light. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I love when the fluorescent colors do that, like... Well, they pretty much do that all the time, but they get more of it at some place, less of it in the others. So they're brighter in places, more concentrated in places, and a little more duller. And it gives like really a lot of uh, texture and uh, depth to this painting. You can see the colors under and all the little lines. You know I'm a sucker for lines, and I love those cells here just following the line. So yeah, it's still selling up really really slowly. Like here, still cells are, are appearing it's here as well. <clears throat> here, uh, those cells are slowly turning fluorescent red, and tiny cells are appearing to, uh, throughout the line here as well. <laughs> But yeah, I love how this just kind of disappears into the orange as well. I just like that it's two painting in one. And we're back, and I'm a happy painter. Uh, I really, really enjoyed trying out all the different pouring mediums, uh, experimenting, seeing how different uh, one pouring medium can be from the other. And uh, it was a learning experience for sure. And I would love to keep experimenting with the decor medium and the ballet hall medium. Uh, I love them both. And if you have tried some mediums uh, that I haven't tried yet and you enjoyed them, um, let me know in the comments. Give me the, the brand and the names. And I would love to check them out um, and try them. Also... Uh, yeah, that's that's it. There's no also. <laughs> so, uh, if you like these uh, videos where I uh, try out some different brands of uh, mediums and uh, other things, um, 
give the video a like. It helps me out a lot. And on that note, well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!